Hello students, welcome to the next lecture of the GATE 2024 Mathematics. Today, I will explain you how you can solve this question number 39 in a very, very simple manner. Now, if you read the statement, what is given to you, G is a mapping from the 2 cross 2 matrix, real matrix to the real R, defined by this one. So, firstly, I can assume what is my A. So, A is my X1, X2, X3 and X4. These are the elements of the M2R. Then, my target is to find this matrix. So, what is that A square? Can you find the A square? So, this is X1, X2, X3, X4 multiply by X1, X2, X3, X4. So, if you, because I need a trace only, so I can simply find the diagonal entries. So, X1 square plus X2, X3 and this one will, will be X3, X2 plus X4 square. So, what is my G of A? A is my X1, X2, X3, X4. This comes to be the sum of that. That is X1 square plus 2 times X2, X3 plus X4 square. Fine. Now, this is my matrix. Now, the question said you, you have to check whether they are maxima, minima, saddle or not critical point. So, how you can find the critical point? I can take the first derivative to be 0. Partial derivative of G with respect to X2 is 0. Partial derivative with respect to X3 is 0. And partial derivative with respect to X4 are 0. So, what is the partial derivative of G with respect to X1? 2X1 which is 0. Partial derivative of X2 with respect is my 0. Partial derivative of this is a 2 times of X2 is 0. And it's a 2 times X4 is my 0. So, what does it mean? That means x1 is 0, x2 is 0, x3 is 0 and x4 is 0. So, therefore, what is my matrix A? 0, 0, 0, 0 and that matrix he said denoted by O. So, that means this is my critical point. Fine. But look at the last option. He said 0 is not the critical point. So, that option is cancelled out. Now, once you know 0 is my critical point, how you can find the maxima and the minima or the saddle point condition? So, again a very simple, you have to draw the Hessian matrix, fine. So, how you can draw the Hessian matrix H? So, this will be G times X1, X1, G times X1, X2, G times X1, X3, G times X1, X4. Similarly, X2, X1 x2, x2 and so on. So, what is that? Can you find the second derivative with respect to x1? 2. Can you find the second derivative with respect to x1 and x2? 0. It's a 0. It's a 0. This is 0. This is 0. This is my 2. This is my 0. Because it will be x2, x3. This will be 0. This will be 2. This will be 0. This will be 0. x4. x4 has only the last element. This is my here. Fine. Now, when you can set any of the Hessian matrix or any of the critical point is the minimum point. When all the principal minors are my greater than or equal to 0. Fine. When you can say a maximum point, when the first principal minor, when the first principal minor is H1, which is less than 0, second principal minor is greater than or equal to 0, third principal minus is less than or equal to 0 and so on. That means they are alternating sign. But make sure the first one must be negative. And all those other cases we call as the saddle point. So now look at that. What is the first principal minor? 2, which is greater than 0. So that means the maximum condition rule out. So 0 is the point of the maxima cancel out. What is my H2? Second principal minor that is a here. The determinant is a 0 which again satisfied this property. Now for the minor, I have to compute them all are my positive. Can you find the determinant of this? So it will be 2 times, it is a 0 minus 4 which is minus 8 which is less than 0, not greater than 0. That means maxima minima is also cancelled out. So the only point which left behind is C is the saddle point is my right answer of this problem. So, I hope you can simply remember these tricks and you can easily understand the solution of this problem. 
we will come up with the next lecture very soon till then you can simply like my videos best of luck students thank you